what looks like a miracle thanks to medical science for a little girl. It's a story about a young Surrey family who weighed the pros and cons of a relatively new medical technology and who chose to take advantage of it in the hopes that it would change their baby daughter's life. A young family who shared an incredible moment with us. Deborah Hope has the story and the pictures that you won't soon forget. You gotta push. You gotta push with your legs. <laughs> Janelle has just turned two, and she's very busy discovering the world. Okay, her trike is still a bit of a mystery, but put her on the slide, and she knows exactly what to do. But there's something you'd never guess about Janelle by watching her. This little girl is deaf. Turns out Janelle had a rare condition called large vestibular aqueduct syndrome. She could hear when she was born, but by the time she was about 15 months old, she was living in a world of silence. I think a big thing for me was she can't hear me say I love you. She can't hear me, you know, rock her to sleep in a lullaby. And just little things. You think ahead, her education or what, what have you, you know, and that's frustrating. <laughs> We have thought all along that the most important thing is communication. And so whether it's communication through, through uh, the signing or, or communication through hearing, uh, we, we wanted to choose what would be best for her. And they chose the cochlear implant, an electronic device that goes inside Janelle's head and is attached directly to her auditory nerve. Most kids cry when they hear for the first time. They're confused and scared. They don't know what sound is. What will Janelle do? It's just going to come on in a second. It's on now. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh! 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 Oh!